the hadith of uh, Sa'ad, Sa'ad al-Khudri radiallahu anhu, Sa'id al-Khudri. Uh, and also the hadith of Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu, in Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, no fatigue, no fatigue, يعني, no tiredness. And he said, no disease, no sorrow, no sadness, no hurt, no distress that befalls a Muslim, even, even if it were the prick he receives from a thorn, you know, the thorn that pricks you. Very, you know, it can happen very quickly, very something very minute. Huh? But Allah expiates some of his sins for that. That is enough. When you're going through that stress, that hardship, that challenge, know that Allah is rewarding you as long as you are patient. As long as you are patient, you have sabr. And you don't act in a way that is showing يعني, uh, unacceptance of this in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So from amongst all, also the, the, uh, the reasons that have been mentioned is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's trials are a sign of Allah's love. They're a sign that Allah loves you. The, the Prophet sallallahu he said in Bukhari, he said whoever or whenever Allah wills good for a person, He subjects him to an adversity. He gives him a hardship. So this is something that, that we need to remember, inshallah ta'ala. So these bitter hardships that we face in our everyday lives, sometimes they're acting like medicine. They're actually medicine. Now you know medicine. Is medicine most medicines, they don't have a good taste. You know, people don't like to take medicine. And, you know, especially children, you know, you give them medicine, they want to quickly spit it out. It's uncomfortable. It might actually have some side effects sometimes. It might put you through uh, some, some side effect just to make you better. And these are, these are the challenges. I like medicine. These are the trials and tribulations that we receive. That we don't necessarily like them, but they are there to reform us. They are there to purify us. They are there to detoxify us, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending us this to purify us of... Um, of our sins.